Hi guys and welcome to another breakdown video for my new vehicle and this time it's a 8x8 vehicle I call it um, uh, Jekyll it's a light armored vehicle LRV Jekyll and yeah I figured out that I didn't do a wheeled vehicle in a long time it was mainly tanks and tracked vehicles and helicopters and but uh, I decided to make uh, another 8x8 vehicle and I settled out uh, for uh, uh, this type of the vehicle and yeah like always let's take it for a spin Now, like always, uh, we have a fully working vehicle. Uh, let's just take it uh, through the obstacle course. And just like always, we have a uh, active suspensions, and I will explain that uh, a little bit later because I get uh, emails asking what what that means or what does do in the game. And. Uh, yeah, we have a working turret. Of course, uh, custom sounds and custom particle effects. And yeah, I included with this vehicle uh, drones. As you can see in the far there. They can be shut down with this vehicle, but of course you need some gear to do it efficiently and we have our working lights brake lights, reverse lights and headlights and even indicators Right now, this is my standard course track that I do many, many, many times when testing the vehicle. Of course, we have a turbo. This will uh, give you some more power. And now we uh, get here to this uh, firing range. And about the weapons, we have our main 25mm gun. With uh, 40 rounds in a chain or a clip. With uh, custom particle effects, sounds. And secondary weapon is a cox gun. overheating mechanic and of course we have a zoom in and zoom out function and uh, of course we have a small screen and yeah this vehicle is a uh, fun to drive around, behaves uh, just like a, well, like a Bedfield 5, uh, sorry, Bedfield 4 vehicle. And uh, let's, uh, let's jump out the vehicle for a second. Uh, no, let's, uh, let's play simulation to explain, uh, to explain uh, active suspension, so sometimes I get an email uh, asking what that do in the game. Uh, basically, it's the, it does not do anything without uh, visual visuals. Uh, we have uh, some connections to the wheels, and they will they will react with the uh, with the wheels and with the terrain so it gives uh, more realism 
and this uh, this approach when skiing vehicles uh, takes some time but I think that it's worth it because it gives uh, much realism when moving the vehicle so yeah that is that effective suspension means uh, it basically means that uh, uh, the springs uh, the connection arms uh, the braking disc uh, all interacts with the uh, uh, or four wheels uh, on one side four wheels on the other side so uh, it gives a uh, uh, more realism essentially and I think that uh, PCs and newer consoles are now powerful to handle this uh, without any problem so yeah that is the active suspension and yeah like I mentioned it when skiing the vehicles uh, it took some more time to figure out everything how it moves how it will interact with the with the wheels so basically yeah guys that, that is uh, what uh, active suspension means now let's take a closer look at the blueprint just like always all of my blueprints are I keep them very very clean and one major major complaint that I get uh, with my vehicles uh, is uh, even thick now I managed to uh, manage to reduce even ticks to five and that can be done with any of my vehicles the reason what I c uh, kept uh, some some uh, functions on even tick because uh, uh, some uh, some users don't like uh, functions or uh, to mess with them so I kept them on even tick but I will reduce them uh, so right now we have a uh, five essential function of uh, essential uh, nodes that are tied to even tick uh, that is uh, the secondary fire uh, that is health regeneration regeneration movement of main camera uh, if vehicles is flipped or stuck and distance and even these nodes can be moved to the function uh, I think uh, every node uh, except the secondary fire or maybe uh, health regeneration can be moved to function but yeah, yeah I reduced it to the 5 uh, there was a 10 I think or 12 now uh, uh, it's a health so yeah blueprints is very clean and everything is labeled so, so you can uh, better navigate it and maybe import your own vehicles as long as you uh, follow my uh, skeletal names uh, you should not have any problems importing your own 8x8 vehicles so let's take uh, exposed functions of course uh, we will uh, first uh, see the health this is the main health of the vehicle uh, when starting of course you can make it uh, lower 50, 10 and when you start the game the vehicle will start with uh, that uh, amount of health health refresh rate uh, is the uh, uh, rate uh, at which uh, the health is uh, refreshing so for every second uh, uh, two points of health is added when the vehicle is uh, below 100 uh, health refresh cooldown this is the amount of time is needed to pass without taking any damage to start regenerating the health uh, hide widget if you don't like uh, the, this widget or, or you have uh, your own you can just hide it so armor left and armor right that is actually for RPG armor so uh, every armor uh, ha uh, have his own health and basically it will stop uh, projectiles until uh, it is depleted and then it will be destroyed so you can change that here now we this is the secondary gun overheat basically it's a coax if you want to reduce the cold down heat so this is the the uh, rate at which uh, the gun will cool down when overheated or when stop firing and this is the uh, the heat that is basically added at every shot so if you want to disable the uh, overheating mechanic you put put this to zero and now you don't you will you can fire infin infinitely 
uh, this uh, I call it use uh, this is the use particle effects uh, so I have uh, two particle effects for dirt and asphalt so if you check this and check uh, this uh, you will use these particle effects but uh, uh, be aware that you need to set your own physics material to your own uh, to your own materials uh, don't forget to do that uh, if you don't do that uh, the basic dirt particle effects uh, will be always firing beneath the wheels so use RPG armor this is a cage armor that you can add to the vehicle and it will protect the vehicle uh, with uh, except the turret uh, the turret is still vulnerable and that's maybe uh, giving more uh, uh, gameplay options <coughs> excuse me use lights uh, if you want for example you have a scene where you want to start a vehicle with lights maybe cinematic or something like that you can toggle the lights on and off and this is the very important character if you uh, this is very important variable if you want to start the vehicle with a uh, uh, level with this vehicle already possessed I also get sometimes that uh, I get uh, emails asking how to do it uh, basically uh, if you want a level to start with this vehicle you need to check this box and scroll down and uh, use uh, auto possess function and everything will work uh, accordingly and if you don't use this uh, uh, characters you will get some errors and some stuff will not work sounds particle effects uh, pretty much everything is tied to this so don't forget to import this use free camera this is of course you can use free camera or fixed camera uh, my I uh, for a turret you need to use a free camera because uh, you you will not uh, rotate the camera with the turret so of course you want to check this use inverted pitch uh, self-explanatory if you check this uh, the pitch will be inverted use boost and this is the variable uh, when you hit uh, left shift you will add some torque to the power so if you want a uh, vehicle to be enabled with the boost uh, you check this default is on and skins uh, we have a uh, four skins for now so guys if you have uh, any any uh, ideas for skin no request uh, feel free to send it and I will include it uh, with the next update because uh, I always want to include more skins uh, with my vehicle and when I figure out the skin what I want to do I will do it but uh, it's a uh, so if you have uh, any requests or uh, any ideas for the skin please send email but uh, defaults are four skins we have a default woodland skin we have a desert skin it is a cool digital desert pat pattern I re really like this one we have a black ops skin of course a digital pattern with, with more uh, darker tone and arctic skin this is for the maybe snow maps or arctic environments and yeah this uh, this one looks uh, pretty cool especially when you blend it with a uh, with uh, a nice uh, landscape and nice materials it really really uh, do its job uh, we have of course uh, another uh, exposed variables main gun clip size this is uh, for the 25 millimeter gun Def default uh, is uh, 14 clips 14 uh, bullets or shells in a, a chain or a clip but you can increase that or decrease uh, to any number so you, you maybe you can put it, I don't know, 150,000 or 5 so, so uh, that means when uh, at when this uh, exp in clip you have a 14 bullets so when the 14 bullets out you need to reload uh, main gun reload time uh, this variable controls uh, when you hit a reload button how uh, uh, the time how, how long it 
took to reload the gun. Default is a four seconds, and that is the maximum because uh, the sound that I use with this uh, or with all of my reloading APCs, I want to use the same sound because uh, I want to mm, engrave in the mind uh, uh, of the of the uh, players or users when they reload the gun. That is a, a visual and audio audio. Uh, cue that uh, the gun is reloading and I don't want to use uh, many many different sounds so uh, the s default uh, value is a uh, four seconds and I think that is a pretty long reload time and you can put it to two seconds one second zero seconds you you are reload instantly so yeah, you have a uh, more control about that countermeasures time this is a time that uh, when you fire up the smoke uh, 15 seconds uh, is needed uh, to smoke to be replenished uh, of course you can lower that to 2, 1, 0 and you can fire smoke mm, infinitely so yeah you can control that amount and uh, turret zo zoom amount uh, is uh, basically the turret zoom uh, default is 60 and be aware if you want uh, more zoom uh, let's just uh, explain that uh, quickly so this is uh, yeah let's target this one uh, drone this is the 60 zoom in and yeah we have our hit markers so if you uh, want to, to zoom in more uh, you top type a lower veil, uh, value for example uh, default is 60 and you type 30 and now you have a much more yeah this drone can be shut down but uh, it really needs uh, some anti air to do it just one shot and this is why you need some anti air So yeah, that is a zoom in, zoom out option. So basically, those are uh, exposed variables that I think that they are, I don't know, uh, important to 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 customize this vehicle. So uh, just like I said, I included this uh, drone with this vehicle. I use this drone mainly for testing. Uh, mm, uh, air to air weapon systems uh, and uh, surface to air but I have included with all of my vehicles why not because you, it's a fun little uh, blueprint to, to populate the map so yeah guys I hope that you enjoy this uh, real uh, short uh, version of break breakdown uh, of course uh, you will always have a demo version for download and play it around if you want to use it in your map uh, or your project so I thank you all of you guys for your support and if you have any questions any requests or um, I don't know if you found especially if you find any errors with this uh, vehicle or of my vehicle please send an email and I will try to correct th that uh, one me one uh, one uh, thing that I didn't mention and I will put that uh, in the link is the uh, uh, integration with uh, your custom characters but uh, you will find that in the separate video because it's the same for all my uh, vehicles so yeah guys this was a light armored vehicle that I call it a jackal and it's uh, it will it's already available on the marketplace uh, it was approved a couple of days ago but I didn't uh, want to release this project until I until I essentially made this video so thank you again for your support and i will see you next time bye